So this is on the terrestrial carbon community assimilation system. It's, it's based on work by a large team that's composed of, of course, modelers and experts on, on data assimilation, but also experts on satellite observations and on, on field work. Um, it, it, it's a system, a variation of data assimilation system developed, built around a newly developed terrestrial biosphere model, which we call D&B for its heritage from Dalek and Beti. And on the right, you see the fathers of the two component uh, models, Matt Williams uh, and, and Wolfgang Knorr. The focus of this development was the, the combination of a diverse array of observational data streams with a model to yield a consistent picture of the terrestrial carbon, water, and energy cycles. And, and that development is funded uh, through ESA's carbon science cluster. There's a larger team behind the, the modeling data assimilation activity that is shown here. Um, so what does the system offer? It's, it's an open source community system. We are going to open the repository in, in the next days. It has observation operators for optical as well as active and passive microwave observations. You see those here on the right. Uh, it, it can do the assimilation on the footprint of the observations for the variational uh, approach. It needs tangent and adjoint codes, which come uh, as part of the system, it's set up in a modular way so that you, in principle, you can also grab just one observation operator and plug it in elsewhere. Uh, of course, we, we, we needed to keep an eye on computational efficiency. We tested it on two regions and on a side scale. Uh, as documentation and user support and training, I will come to that. So uh, variational minimization of a cost function and the cost function is composed of uh, multiple data streams. So, um, and as I said, it, it uses an adjoint. So, but that's pretty much what I presented in the last year, actually. So uh, what, what is new, now is apart from the fact that we have done many experiments, work hard on the model. Uh, um, there's there's a manuscript on on the model that we submitted to to GND. We are still waiting for an editor. We have implemented two new SIF models. I have a few slides on that. We revised the observation operator for the LBN. BOD, so for, for the SMOS observations, there's a manual now. And as I said, we will open the GitLab repository in the next days. And there is a training event planned. I have a slide on that too. So we, we started off with the GU model and, and uh, ingested a simple tuning factor uh, in, in the formulation uh, that, that, that is all described in the manual and after uh, in the in that uh, um, presentation here uh, in that uh, manuscript here and um, and then we have these two alternative uh, leaf level SIP models that that we described in the in the manual is the one by Van and Toy and the one by Lee and I and uh, this is a typical assimilation experiment. So we assimilate four data streams, SIF, uh, surface uh, layer soil moisture, then uh, vegetation optical depth and, and FA bar. So that's the data streams we assimilate, observations in green, prior in red, posterior in blue, and that's over a site in Spain, very dry site in the Dahesa. And then uh, it, it has eddy covariance observations, and we use those 
uh, for independent validation. And with the with the new uh, observation operator for VOD, uh, that runs much more smoothly. And since this is a workshop, yeah, I, I point you at one thing that is that we still find strange. We really need to 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 increase the magnitude of the the, the simulated SIF from prior to posterior by about a factor of ten, and that is even with a with a favorable uh, spectral conversion factor to the uh, tropomi data. So this is tropomi. Uh, Propomi, SMOS, SMOS, and uh, MODIS FA part, JRC tip. And so th these are these are the two new models. You see, they 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 the, the prior fit is already better, but this this is also with a favorite <laughs> conversion uh, spectral conversion uh, uh, it, that that suits better here. And uh, we are only a bit off, and then the the assimilation corrects that. So this is me, and the, no, this is Van Atoll, and this is me. Um, and and here also you see the the check against the GPP. NEE does not look that good, but we we don't have any constraints actually on the respiration. So it's it's understandable. So that, that is the training event. It will happen in October, uh, uh, two days at Esprin on site, but also uh, it, it, it will be hybrid and we hope for many online participants. Uh, content will be terrestrial carbon cycle, the DNB model, observation operators, and the, the assimilation system around it. So in the target audience is really from student to experienced researcher and professor. Uh, is, is organized by ISA's current science cluster and with much shape of uh, aims, in, in particular HANA and the project team. There's no fee for participation, but those who come on site, they, they have to uh, arrange their, organize their travel and accommodation on their own. And we, tomorrow we will we'll open the uh, application. Here's, here's the website. And um, yeah, notification of acceptance end of August. So we hope for many participants, we can have up to 50 participants. Uh, yeah, and that, that's already my last slide. So uh, the take home that there's a training event, the, 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 the website, uh, an, uh, an email address for the system. And then if you have specific questions to me, you can use my email address. That's all.